What's going on? I completely forgot I was going to resume work today. It's past eight and I need to be there in an hour time. Mm, okay. You disappeared on me last night. Or oh, did you get a hangover? <laughs> I snuck out of that lame party last night with a hot stranger. Baby girl, it was worth it. <laughs> you mean you had a one night stand with a total stranger? You call it one night stand, but I choose to call it a full night stand. Oh. You know what? Mm -mm. Don't worry. I'll give you the food just about the time for more, but for now, I need to get dressed and go to work. Okay. Gray, where did you sleep last night? Oh, uh, I, was, I was at Mike's engagement party. Gray, I know about that. I asked, where did you sleep last night? After the party, Gray, where did you sleep? I stayed up late, worried about you in this condition. You completely turned off your phone. Oh, no. <laughs> Babe, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's, uh... You know, I had too much to drink. I didn't, I didn't realize it was off, you know? Um, listen, I'm sorry. Babe, I'm really sorry. Um, so, you know, my, I slept in a hotel. You know, my car broke down and it was late. I, I couldn't get a ride, you know? So that's what happened. Gray. Babe. Is that not a lady's perfume on your body? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. It was a party and I hugged a lot of people, so, you know. I'll fix your breakfast. Okay. Let me help you. Sorry. Easy, huh? Easy. I'll, I'll go get ready for work. Babe. I was wondering if we could go out on a date or something. You know, like, like, hang out like couples. Look around you, Gray. What do you see? Uh, furniture, curtains. My goodness. Oh, was I supposed to see anything else? We have a child. Another one is on the way. Things can never be the same again. I have this house and my kid to look after. This shouldn't even be what we should be discussing on a breakfast table. I mean, I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss you, Doris. I want, I want time with my wife. Great, I don't have it. And make time for us. Find the time. I wish we could go back to, I want our old life back. Great. Our old life is what we can never have back, no matter how we, we yearn for it. We can't have it back. Don't be unreasonable. When was the last time we had sex? You know what? You have to enjoy this meal alone. I can't have you talk like this in front of my son. I can even have the food alone. Oh. Darling, it's gone. Okay, Doris, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Darling, it's gone. I'm sorry. Eat the food. You can enjoy it. Grayson Ad Agency. <sighs> Miss Raya, looks like you have a lot of things to say. Why don't you say it out loud for us to hear? Um, no, sir. I, I'm sorry, sir. It's personal. I will not be entertaining any side talks from you or anyone else. As I was saying, this is the uh, most successful marketing agency and company in the country. 
And you know that you're very lucky to be working here. Stick by the rules and regulations, or you'll be kicked out. This is my manager, Cynthia. She'll be at your disposal always. And if you have any complaints, you can drop it in the suggestion box here. Best sir, that is a trash boss. Meaning I will not be entertaining any complaints. Thank you. Have a good day. <coughs> so well, guys, um, try as much as possible not to get fired, okay? What about payment? <laughs> oh, that. Well, let's see. Um, that depends on how long you last here. Have a nice day, guys. How come he knows you by your name? Have you guys met before? Uh, no, no, not exactly. He has my file and my passport, isn't it? He has everyone's file, but uh, whatever. So, what have you been up to? The boss wants to see you in his office. Um, okay, I will be with you shortly. I mean now. Biggest mistake of my life. I was drunk. We, we both were drunk. I clearly didn't know what I was doing. So if you want to keep your job here, you have to be on your best behavior. I do not get down with my employees. You can get back to work. yesterday without telling me. Yeah, I had a little too much to drink and I did something really stupid. Okay. What happened? I had a one night stand. <laughs> Come on, that was it. It's not funny. I couldn't even look Doris in the eyes when I got home. I've been married five years. Five years. I've not cheated on her once. Not even during the dating phase. I've never cheated. I've never lied. I've never as much as looked at another woman until last night. I just broke all my principles. So it's not funny. Wait, come on, girl. You don't, you don't need to be too hard on yourself. I mean, this thing's about to happen, especially when one is drunk. That's the point. As much as I would like to claim that I was drunk, no, but I wasn't. I knew exactly what I was doing. I was conscious. I just wanted to have some fun. Doris has not been up to it lately, I guess. It's true what they say about marriage, you know, things change after marriage. Well, it was a mistake. You'll get over it in no time. How am I supposed to get over it? When I was at work today, I was addressing the new interns and she was there, standing right there looking at me. The girl from last night? Yeah, she's one of the new recruits. Who? <laughs> wow. This is bad, Gray. This is really, really bad. You may need to fire her. No, 
Why? Just let her go before this whole thing degenerates to something, something else. She may decide to blackmail you. Nah, she's too innocent for that. No, I don't know. I think I'll just be stuck with her for the whole year. It's not that bad. Please, one more. can get me some fruit. Alright, I'll do that. Okay, darling. Um, you take care of this little boy, yeah? <laughs> Just engrossed in what he's doing. Honestly, he's been playing with his toys. <laughs> um, you even pay any attention to me when I came here. Really? <laughs> um, let me go get it then. Alright, darling. Also having problems with one of our biggest clients. You know, they they changed the management, and now the new people want to switch things up to fit their own vision. They're firing us. They're hiring a new agency, and and this 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 can cause real problems for us. You know, it's just gonna be taking. Gray, are you really serious? Are you gonna do this? Yeah. I told you I am not feeling too well. I even have a splitting headache. Instead of you to give me comfort by massaging my shoulders, you are here bothering me with talks from the office. I see you don't want me to take this fruit. Please, you can go ahead to take them. Look, what are you saying now? I'm having issues at work. I shouldn't discuss it with you again. Who am I supposed to discuss it with? Doris, all I ask is that you listen to me. That's all. As it is now, I, 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 I need advice because I'm completely blank. I, I, don't, I don't even, you know... Gray, I have problems too in my office. I have a lot of problems in the office. Please don't add yours to mine. Please! Can't even ask me how I'm doing. Won't even help massage my shoulders. What bother me talks from the office? Mm. Hey. I always come back late. <laughs> Why are you coming late? Oh, uh, I was working on my pitch deck for my first presentation. Guess what, babe? So, remember my one night stand from your friends? Engagement. Yeah, I remember. I walked into my office and saw my one reckless knight standing in front of me. Grayson Williams, the man who I chipped myself for, is my boss. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't understand. Are you trying to tell me that your one night stand with a man is your boss? <sighs> oh my goodness. How are you copying? Terribly, babe. 
He behaved like he has never seen me before. And he called what we had a mystic. How can he call such fire, such spark, such... <sighs> that was literally the best night of my life he called a mystic. You like it? From the first day I bumped into him, there's this thing about this man. His confidence, his power, the magnesium, like... You need to see the body of this man. Babe, this is my ideal man. He carries himself like he owns the world. Wow. <sighs> Finally, someone has given love a chance. I don't think he feels the same way about me. I mean, which man will want to take a girl who threw herself cheaply? Seriously. Listen, girlfriend. Do not say that to yourself, okay? You're not cheap. Listen, he might be feeling the same way you feel, but you know, his big ego will not allow him to admit that. You have to make him feel that same way. Use your girl power, walk into that office and show him that you're the boss. Yes. <laughs> you are the boss. Sounds easy, right? It's easy. You don't know who I'm talking about. I know what I'm saying. No, you don't. I do. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. I'm sorry for for overreacting. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is nice. This is good. <laughs> Talent. Oh. Talent, come. There, take, take, take. All right. Take it. Good boy. Because I'm always at home. <laughs> you're, you're, you're used to your home. Boy. <laughs> Listeners, welcome to today's episode of Rules of Marriage with me, your favorite host, Raya. Marriage is such a beautiful thing, even though it can really be tough at times. To make it work, it starts from being a couple and for many, becoming parents. With a growing family, your relationship as partners are truly bound to change. As a woman, you have to balance being a mother, a wife, and your career. Great. Please help me dress talent for school. Someone is waiting for me in the office. What do you mean? I'm, I'm, I'm already late for work now. What, what you, how can I get him ready for school? Babe, you are not the only one running late for something. Please, just take him to school, please. If, why didn't you tell me before now? If you knew you were not going to be able to get him ready for school, why are you just informing me now? Are we going to argue before him? He has only one hour to go to school. If not, he'll be late. It's fine. Tell him, let's go. I'm going to get ready for you. Let's go. Thank you, darling. You're a darling. <laughs> love you, baby. Yeah, we love you too. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go upstairs. Yeah. 
Are you having challenges? Yes, please. Okay, you need some help? Yes, I do. Unfortunately, Mr. Gray is going to come in a bit late today. But fortunately for you, it gives you more time to work on your project. So I would advise you to do it and get it ready before he comes. No excuses. One more thing. A word of advice. I would want you all to be at your best behaviors. We lost a very big client who has been with this company for years now. And Mr. Gray is not taking it easy. He is in a very terrible mood. So I would not want any of you to face the transfer aggression. Just an advice. Mm -hmm. Continue. Okay. Is Mr. Grayson ever in a good mood? <laughs> Are you okay? Um, uh, yes, I am. Right. You look really worried. Are you okay? The boss. I wonder if everything is okay with him. I'm sure he's just stuck in traffic or something. Or you acting really worried. He's my boss. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that's twelve, huh? One, two, three, four. Five, six. What is this doing here? I thought it's among the order parked yesterday for delivery. The buyer cancelled the order. Really? I hope you told them about our non-refundable policy. Yes, ma'am. She picked another different dress. Ah. Ah, okay. All right. You put that one down, eh? Let's continue. How, how many is this one? This is ten. Ten, right? Yes. And how many is this one? Twelve. Twelve, okay. Hey, girlfriend! Ah! <laughs> Jessica! <laughs> look at you! You're not looking bad yourself. Thank you, you look so blown up, babe. Thank you. No wonder you, you bid me on my engagement party. Jessica, don't flatter me, mm -hmm. please. I am totally sorry missing your engagement party. You know, talent is so small. Yeah. I can't leave him alone in the house. <laughs> How did it go? It was fun. It was Aww. fun. <laughs> May, just carry on, okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, how is business going? <laughs> My sister, business is going well, we bless God. Everything yeah. is fine. <laughs> so, when are you expecting your new arrivals? Um, next month, 
First week of next month, precisely. Perfect. Because I need to come shop um, sexy uh, dresses for my wedding night. Don't worry, girl. I got <laughs> you covered. <laughs> Tell me, how did it go? The party? Ah, it went well. Like, oh. it was fun. <laughs> and my husband? Did you see him with anyone? <laughs> you mean a girl? Yes. Ah, oh, come on. Gray is not that type of guy, okay? I mean, he was with us all through the party. Mm-hmm. Is there something going on? No, that's fine. Just that he didn't come back that night. Look, Doris. If, if, if he didn't come back that night, I'm sure he must have had reasons, okay? Gray is a responsible man, okay? If Mike can be half amazing he is, I'll count myself lucky. No problem. It's just that since our five years of marriage, okay. Ray has never slept outside until that night. Look, yeah, so look Doris. If he's doing that, then I'm sure he has a reason for doing that. Okay? Gray is not that type of man. Look, ever since I got pregnant, I haven't had sex with my husband. <laughs> Wait, what? Over you, seven months now. You've yeah. not done what? I know. I am not just in the mood for it. Hey. But, but he understands. <laughs> are, you, are you just going to keep laughing? I mean, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> this is serious. Look, look, Doris. You don't need my advice. Because you're obviously at fault, Okay. I mean, you cannot starve a dog for that long. If you do, he will start hunting for reptiles, okay? And when he gets used to the fresh blood of reptiles, he will start rejecting, um, what's it called? Cooked meat, okay? Jessica, could he be cheating? Ha. You didn't hear that from my mom. So basically, you just uh, specify the numbers of persons in the group. Okay. You have the verb name, solo performer, then you have yeah. to choose one. Solo or group. Okay. So, we are going to be working on the name of the solo and company. Good morning, my name is Paul. In my office now. <laughs> You know, it's really surprising you're the only intern that Mr. Gray knows your name. Like, seriously. Hmm. I wish I have an explanation to that. I'll be with you guys shortly. Okay. Have I done anything wrong? Have you done anything wrong? None that I can think of. So why are you scared? Um, anyway, scratch that. I hope you know that relationships are not allowed in this office. You mentioned it, sir. So what are you doing with the other intern, the one you're always with? You mean James? There is nothing between us. Our conversations and relationship is strictly work-related. It's none of my business anyway. A major client of ours has fired us, so things are going to change around here. The manager and I are doing everything we can to bring them back. Until then, there will be no allowances for the interns, so tell your colleagues that. Yes, sir, the manager mentioned it earlier. Mm -hmm. I made a new pitch deck for my presentation. Um, Mr. Gray, clients don't play nice, especially when they dry your budgets. I don't know how important that client is to you, but I'll suggest you let them go and open doors for new ones. We can get new clients to replace them. Debrief the term, we tool our approach. You can listen to my pitch deck if you find it worthy, then we can use it to approach new clients. You don't worry about the ones you lose or the ones to come. Okay, I'll listen to it, I'll listen to it later. Ria, yes. uh, thank you. Thank you.
So how are preparations for the wedding coming along? Yeah, that's draining. I mean, the energy, the cash. Yeah. You know women now. I know. But Jessica just wants to warm me dry. It's been shopping on a daily basis. Don't worry, it was something good. I mean, I just can't wait. Yeah, it's can't wait. Was. Anyways, how's Doris? Doris. You know, we live in the same house, but I miss her every day. She's so engrossed in family and business. She's forgotten what it is to have fun. We kind of, we kind of have a conversation. We don't know what to talk about. Yeah. Now, this, this talk about you and Doris, man, it's getting me really scared. Is that what marriage is about after having a child? Not all marriages. Not all, but, but of course, mine. You know, the thing is that Doris doesn't, she doesn't pay me any attention. She doesn't pay me. She's like, I don't even exist. She's forgotten I'm even there. Well, well, I guess it's just this whole pregnancy hormone thing. It's not the first time. It's not the first pregnancy. Great. Do, do, you, do you think I'm rushing this whole marriage thing with Jessica would be too much? No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Not all marriages are, are the same. Yeah, I'm sure yours will be different. Besides, Jessica's a sweet girl, so... Yeah, right. They have I nothing mean, to worry about. Doris was a sweet girl. <laughs> well, she let herself go. That was her decision, not mine. That was her choice. Um, I'll go get some lunch now. I'll be back, okay? Okay. Sure. But who is paying? I'm very sure you can afford your own meal, but hey, I'm a gentleman, so I'll pay. Good. Okay, just hold on. Let me put all this together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I go to guys? Hey, <laughs> good. <laughs> Sorry, you can't. Maybe some other time. Let's go. No, some other time. <laughs> See you all. Right. Alright. Right. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> like it? It's tasty. Mm. Why don't you listen to my podcast tomorrow morning and tell me what you think about it? Oh, sure why not? How about you subscribe me to it so I don't miss it? Okay. So what, what do you intend doing after your internship? Oh, oh, I would love to work for Mr. Gray, but I don't think the boss likes me very much. Why would you say that? Mr. Grayson is not biased. He treats his workers the same. Did you see the way he looked at me this morning? You're not perhaps thinking it because of me. Is it? Wait, do you guys have something going on? Uh, no, but how would you think that? Raya, you need to be careful. I care about you a lot and I don't want you to get hurt. Okay? Why are you telling me all this? Mr. Grayson is not a monster everyone thinks he is. He's just someone who likes to hide his weakness in front of everyone. That doesn't make him a monster. Look, I don't want to move into details, yeah, but there's a lot of things about Gray that you do not know. Stay away from him, please. Look, he's just my boss, and there is no form of relationship between us. You don't have to worry about me. I just want you to be safe. That's it. Trust me. Yeah. I can take care of myself. You know what? I think we should just leave. It's getting dark. Now you're angry. No, I am not. I don't like the fact that you always meddle in my personal life. I don't like it. You need to stop. 
I'm sorry. Okay? Maybe I might have overreacted. I just... I care about you and I want to make sure you're okay. I want to make sure you're safe. That's it. Okay? I am safe. Thank you. Alright. Let's eat. Please. Get off, out of this, uh, whatever it is I'm wearing, and join you. Okay? It's alright, it's alright. I hope there's food. I'm hungry, really hungry. Babe, I, ju I came back from the office very tired. I couldn't fix anything. Sorry about that. Doris, I don't understand. There's no food for me to eat. Is that what you're saying? What, what do you mean you couldn't fix anything? I'm just coming back from work and there's no food in this house. What do you mean? Gray. Don't ever yell at me. I am tired. If you are hungry, go fix something for yourself. Please, I'm having a headache. Don't shout in my ears. This, this, this is not right. This is not right. No, no, no. What is not right is you expecting too much from me. Gray, I work as much as you do. And I still fix everything in this house without you helping me. I am pregnant. At least you can do some of these things by yourself. Doris, this is not your first pregnancy. What are you saying? Well, I had no business when I was pregnant with talent. Yes, I had no business, okay? No, I think you're lazy. Yeah, you're just being lazy. You're just being lazy. That's what it is. You're very lazy and then you're using the excuse of pregnancy to cover up for your laziness and your failure as a mother and a wife. That is what it is. Really? Yes. And I've had it up to here, Doris. I've had it up to here. Just so you know. And if you've had it up to here, what will you do? What will you do? I don't have time for your nonsense. Don't go and fix something for yourself to eat. Wait for me. Oh. Hey, sweetie. Seriously? <laughs> Babe, she really formed the habit of you coming back late. Just check the time out. I'm so sorry. I had lunch with... James after work. And who is James? James is my colleague. James is your colleague? Yeah. Are you not supposed to be having lunch with your boss, Greg? Greg is simply not interested in me. And I don't want to push it. But I think he's jealous. Mm -hmm. When he walked into the office this morning, he saw James on my desk and he didn't like it. You know what? Just forget it. I may just be having the wrong impression. How much do you like this guy? I like everything about him. His department is absolutely fascinating. Grey has taken possession of my body, my mind, and my soul. Christine, I just, I just want to be with him. Okay. Have you have you tried to seduce him? What are you talking about? Se <laughs> Listen, you have to seduce him in his office. Yes. There is no way I am doing that. No way. What are you talking about? I should come on. <laughs> is it not obvious that you do not like him the way you claim? Because if you do, I mean, you are going to do everything to get him down. Mm. <sighs> no way. That's not happening. No way. Hello, dear listeners. Happy weekend and welcome to today's episode of Roots of Marriage. I am Raya. 
There is no doubt about it. Poor communications can be costly. Flowers, candy, gifts, large and small are regularly offered by a spouse who said the wrong thing or failed to say the right thing. When you look at costly mistakes in a marriage, majority of them are as a result of poor communications. Couples who don't communicate are in danger of losing love and affection for one another. All relationships are nourished by communications. For a marriage to succeed, both spouses need to listen to each other's compliance without being defensive. I know that I said some things to you yesterday that I shouldn't have. It was very insensitive of me and I'm sorry. Gray, sorry doesn't fix everything. You said really mean things to me yesterday and they hurt me. Do not assume sorry and a cheap cup of tea will fix the damages you have caused in this marriage. Gray, please. I say hurtful things when I'm angry. You know that already about me. It's not like I mean it. That doesn't mean I should swallow every dirty thing you throw at me. Look, Gray, I'm not in the mood, okay? Please, I don't want, I don't want to have this conversation. Leave me alone. All right, I'm sorry. You and I know it's not from your heart. Gray, please, I need to be left alone. Leave me alone, please, please. I changed my mind. I don't want to be a lazy wife anymore. And I can't get stuck with you in this house all day. I might just fall sick looking at your face. I have business to do. I said I'm sorry now. I said I'm sorry. How many times do you want me to apologize? Huh? Ray, I'll see you later, please. Take care of family. Okay, be home early because I'm, I'm going to make some food. Alright? Thank you. I actually live with a friend. I see. So, I don't get it. Why do you work as an intern? I don't understand. What do you mean? I mean, I spent the whole day listening to every episode of your podcast and it was amazing. Do you know you have over 1 million subscribers? Do you know what that is? Well, marketing has always been my passion. The idea is to learn. After my internship, I am launching my own marketing firm. So, wow, that's uh, that's amazing. I'm I'm really proud of you. I'm proud of you too. You're really a good guy. I'm very helpful too. Uh, that's a first. You see, no one really believes in me recently, and uh, my older brother also thinks I'm good for nothing. So, <laughs> no, come on. Your brother is wrong. You're really a great guy with great potentials. Uh, thanks for saying that. That's really sweet. So, you don't have any siblings, do you? No, I don't. I am an only child. Oh, lucky you, because some siblings are the worst, trust me. 
No, don't say that. Like, I really wish I do have a younger sister who would run into my bedroom, steal my clothes and, you know, you're lucky. You should be happy you have one. Yeah, if you insist. Of course. So, what brings you? Right. Um, I wanted to apologize for the other day for uh, meddling in your business. Look, I know I might not be your ideal man, but I care about you. Okay? I really do not know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just know that I'm always going to be there for you. Okay? So, uh... Let me get you something to drink. Alright. Jessica, Gray has really changed. He has never talked down on me before. I read on a relationship blog that when a man starts to exhibit some certain characters that were not there before, it simply means he is seeing another <laughs> woman. Come on, girlfriend. Are you seriously going to judge your husband at both based on what you heard on the blog? Come on, Doris. That's, that's insane. Fine. Explain his recent behavior. <laughs> Have you even asked yourself what you're not doing right? I am doing everything fine. I'm doing perfectly fine. The duty of a wife I carry it out diligently. Look, Ray doesn't get mad at me before when I don't cook nor clean. He even helps me in the house to do all those house chores. But every little thing he picks on me... Oh, no, 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 no. Something is wrong somewhere. And until I figure it out, I am going to keep him on a tight corner. But I told you. I told you not to push him away. Where is your phone? Give me your phone. What for? Give it to me first. <sighs> what do you need me for? Give me. Ah. <sighs> Have it. Mm -hmm. I just subscribed it to a podcast. It's all about relationship and, and marriages. It's better than all those um, information you get from all those amateur bloggers. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jessica. It's okay. It's okay. Babe, you're back early. Come, welcome, 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 welcome. I make food, I make food. I make dinner. I made rice. There's um there's um there's jollof rice, there's fried rice, there's white rice. I also made oha. What there's are you pussy. talking about? Gray! Who did you make all those food for? I'm gonna spend all day trying to make that food to please you. I mean, it's, it's like it's like a feast, you know? Gray, you oh my god, you are so unbelievable. You made all this food for who? Why wasting food for me? You shouldn't have bothered yourself. Now, I already had dinner with Jessica in the office. Why wasting food for me? Huh? I, I told you I was going... You are so unbelievable. No. Doris, I told you that I was going to, I was going to make dinner. What do you mean? You were going to make dinner, you made all this, you made this, you made that, you made... Oh my God, Gray! Welcome to a brand new week, listeners. On today's episode of Rules of Marriage with Raya, how often do you appreciate your partner's little efforts? Being appreciated in a relationship makes a person feel special, honored, and treasured. I feel, as human beings, we should constantly crave for positive attention, and appreciating someone is the best way to go about doing it. The problem starts when we don't even notice how we slipped 
into the habit of taking each other for granted and stopped caring for and appreciating each other. This leads to other problems, arguments, frustration, resentment, and suddenly we begin to wonder if this relationship is meant to work out. Can I come in? Come in if you want to. What is this? A um, list of new clients for security. Maria, I'd like to thank you for the advice the other day. It was really helpful. Why don't you thank me over a cup of coffee? Don't embarrass yourself like that in front of me. These cheap tricks won't work on me. Listen, I like you, Maria. I like how dedicated you are to your job. And it would be a shame if a company like this loses such an intelligent intern as yourself. But if you continue this way, I'll have no choice but to fire you. you does not give you the right to meddle in my business. Right. Look, I care a lot about you and I don't want to see you get hurt. Okay? Raya, this whole thing... And who said you could touch me? Can you please stop playing sense with me? Just go straight to the point and tell me you want to get in between my legs and, and quit squabbling like a teenager. I have said it before. Men are scum and I'll keep saying it. You are just do well with getting into a woman's pants and the next day you are gone. What is all this? Raya, you do realize this is an office and you should not use such words here. I'm serious. James, my office. James, I'm relieving you of your work, you're fired. What? Great, you cannot fire me. I'm not leaving. My love, this is my business. Don't make a scene, James. Just go, you're fired. And Raya, she's gonna be fired as well. Look, I don't think you should do that, man. You need her in this company, and this work means a lot to her. What do you care? I care a lot about her. <laughs> Gray, this is my one request to you as my brother. Listen, she's broken my rules several times. If I don't fire her, it would mean that I'm biased and that wouldn't be fair to others. And you know me, I'm a fair man. This girl is better than all the interns put together. You need her. And you're not mad that I'm firing you. I'm getting used to people throwing me out. Good luck, Ray. I feel really terrible. He was a great guy. So tell me, what really happened? After being humiliated by Grey, I just needed someone to vent my anger and frustration on. I never knew he would get fired. Fired? But this your Mr. Grey guy is really doing too much. I mean, how can he just fire someone like that? <sighs> you don't know him. His heart is stone. Nothing can melt him. But I'm wondering why he didn't fire me. I think because he likes you. That's why. I mean, Guys like that hardly admit their feelings. Don't you think so? God, James. 
James was my backbone in that office. I don't know what I would do without him. Just when I was getting to know him. Girlfriend, stop bitching yourself so hard, okay? Listen, I know what is done is done, so just calm down. Maybe I should talk to Gray to call him back. Because I don't think I'll feel comfortable working in that office knowing that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Okay. You will do that. But right now, you just have to rest. Okay? Calm down and rest. I believe by tomorrow we'll figure something out. <sighs> has been like this since you used them. Oh, you are piling them for me to wash? Since when did we start doing things separately in this house? Gray, ever since you vowed never to help me with anything in the house, knowing that I can't do much for myself because of my condition. I'm trying. No, Gray, you're not trying hard enough. You are not. So, you want to start to divide labor now? Exactly. Wash your plates after use. Okay, now Doris, you are you are you are, you are doing too much. You are, have you have you gone mad? Are you have you have you gone mad? Gray, you want to shout? I dare you to shout. No, go ahead and shout, and I will shout too. You know you're nagging. You know how much I hate nagging. You're nagging right now. You know how much I hate it. Don't push me. Don't push me. Gray, come back here. Come back here and wash these plates. I'm not your housemaid. Gray, come back here. Hey, stop now. What's all this now? Ah, what's all this one? Ah. What is it? Sorry. I think it's from what I ate. I'm asking because I need to know when you became, started becoming so messy. It's disgusting now. It is not intentional. I don't feel good. And you, and you can't get a napkin. You'll just be spitting everywhere. Is, is, is that hygienic to you? Doris, listen, I, I, I don't know what we'll do. I, you're becoming tiring, this new you. You want me to start running away from Gray, you? Gray, are you the one saying this? Oh, so you don't even, you are not concerned about the baby and I? Do you want me to take you to a hospital? Forget it. I'll go by myself. You can continue chatting with the mistress you've been chatting with. Impossible. And you are despicable. Now give me the phone. Why should I give you my phone? No, give me the phone. I want to check you've been chatting with. Give me the phone. I've been responding to work emails. This is work related. I'm Gray, sending emails. If it is work related like you claim, why not give the phone first? Give me. Where are all your messages? Why did you delete them? What do you mean I deleted? Impossible. Deleted which messages? Because you don't want me to catch you. So you are angry. Just because of this, you are angry. Come and have sex. You want sex? Are you on about? No, 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 no. Gray, you want sex. I want you to have it so you won't cheat. What are you doing? Stop. Gray, come. Doris, Doris. Gray, come. Stop. Stop. Gray, come here. Stop. Gray.
Trust is part of the foundation for a healthy relationship. Broken trust in relationship leads to depression, anxiety, and insecurity. The relationship can suffer from a lack of intimacy. A lack of trust in relationship open doors to a host of other problems, which, if left unresolved, may destroy whatever is left. As much as possible, know to handle lack of trust in your relationship. Hiya. That was awesome presentation. Congratulations. That was a smart presentation, I like it. Thank you, sir. So have you heard from your lover? Who? James. Oh, he wouldn't pick his calls. But sir, he's not my lover. I was jealous seeing him around you. Why? Not like you care. I missed you. I tried to suppress my emotions, try to push you away, but it wouldn't work. trying to reach him on the phone all morning and he's not picking. Why do you care so much? Let's just say it's guilty conscience. Seriously, I am worried. Then leave him at first. I have done that already. Listen, you just have to calm down, okay? He's going to call you when he chooses. Put yourself together, let him be. Um, that reminds me, I'll be traveling tomorrow. What? And you're just telling me? I just get to know, not quite long, okay? You remember Jessica from the engagement party, right? Ah, oh, had to forget. Okay, she's going to Dubai and she wants me to come with her because she wants to do her wedding shopping. Oh, wow. That sounds like fun. Yes. Right now, I need it. Mm -hmm. and well, you're not the one going to be having fun alone because Gru and I heated things up. You don't mean it. Listen, girlfriend, my ears are itching. I just want the full story right now, okay? Just me. And you'll pay for every information. That's we're friends. Yes, we're friends, but business first. <laughs> really? Okay, let me give you the full gist. Okay, listen, dear friend, I am so happy for you. Now tell me. So, great to be that. Please. Oh, man. Whew. <laughs> Man, bro. I know, right? What do you want? What do you want to drink? Good afternoon. Hi, how you doing? How would you like to drink? Uh, stout. Medium or small? Small stout. Same for me. So, what's up? Oh, gee. How far? There. The weather is a little bit tough. <laughs> I feel nauseous and dizzy each time I remember it. <laughs> I'm getting married. Man, welcome to the club. Oh. Cheers to adulthood. But I must warn you, it's not going to be easy. Whew. Are you nervous? You bet I am. Just save the nervousness for the day. Don't go having a panic attack on <laughs> me right now. <laughs> oh. Uh, any changes from Doris? Uh, I wish, man. I wish 
the way. But no, I do think I dragged you out here this time to come have a drink. She's just, just driving me crazy. She's driving me crazy. I'm like, I just, I need peace. No changes at all. It's all right. Yeah, I know what how, how is uh, Jessica? Are you still going to the bar with her? Oh, well, you know how Jessica is. She literally drags me everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Women and their problems. It's okay. What time is it? Uh, past 12, midnight. Okay. Go back to where you are coming from or you sleep outside. No, Doris, I was with Mike. I am not asking who you were with. I said, go back to where you are coming from or you sleep outside. Doris, now, Doris. Listen, Gray, it took me hard time to put talent to sleep. Don't wake him up for me, please! As a woman, be a man's peace and he will always run to you. Be a headache and no matter how much you bring to the table, he will hate being around you. When he hates being around you, you have only succeeded in pushing him to seek solace in another. <coughs> About last night, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't even know that. You know, I didn't know it was that late. I sort of like lost track of time, you know. Doris. Please remove your hand from there. Listen, anything that belongs to me in this house, don't touch it. I don't want to share anything with you. Please. Doris, it's just bread. And you know, frankly speaking, I don't know why. I've apologized. What? Why are you so angry? Why are you always nagging? I don't even know what I've done wrong. Oh, really? You are playing a pity card, right? You are never wrong. All right. You know, Doris, I, I don't care, actually. I really don't care. I don't, I don't care whatever it is. You, you, as far as I'm concerned, you can, you can have your bread, you can have the tea, you can have everything including this house. You're just, you're just a psychomaniac. That's what you are. I'm out. Go away! you ask me to sit? Um, sorry. Please sit. Thank you. I'm just surprised to see you. Uh, How did you know I live here? Your file. And I've been calling your phone. Oh, my phone. It's in the bedroom. I hope you don't mind me being here. If it makes you uncomfortable, I could just leave. Um, no, it's fine. You, you can stay. I am making breakfast, uh -huh. so 
You can stay and have some if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. Okay, please make yourself comfortable. I'll be with you shortly. Okay, thank you. I can't remember the last time I had such a good meal. <laughs> flatter me not, Scree. Oh, you should know me by now, I don't flatter. Um, don't worry, I am here for you anytime you need a good meal. Okay. So what sort of dishes can you make? Trust me, I can make all kinds of food. My kitchen experience is broad. <laughs> I guess I'm lucky because I don't joke with my stomach. <laughs> Course you are. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I hope you don't mind. I'd like to spend the weekend here. And it's just some time away from my house. Um, it's fine. It's fine, it's okay. I mean my friend traveled, so uh, I wouldn't mind some company. Thank you. with me. Uh-huh. Oh, uh -huh. be careful. You just might turn me on. <laughs> You're really becoming a bad boy these days. Uh-huh. Don't you ever get tired? Who's gonna ever get tired of this? <laughs> Come on. Oh. What? Your mustache is tickly. You like it? Or you want me to shave it? No, I like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know what? Right. I need to cook now. Okay? Okay, okay why don't I just um, stay and help you out with something? What do you want me to help you out with? No, you just relax while I serve you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> you really want to be here. Uh huh. Daddy. Cheers to friendship. To friendship. Gray? Huh? Can I please ask you for a favor? What is it? James. Can you please call him back to work? He didn't tell you? Tell me what? James is my kid brother. What? Oh. But he works as an intern. Well, if he wants a job, he has to earn it. James is very irresponsible, he's toxic, and is also reckless with his spending. So if he needs a position, then he has to apply for it. Ah, 
How come I never found out? That was his decision. He wanted to be treated like other people, according to him. And as for firing him, it was just to teach him a lesson. Don't worry, he'll be back. But he didn't do anything to me. I know. He told me already. Somebody had to go. And I didn't want to fire you. So I chose to fire him instead, so that I don't appear biased. Great, that's all shades of wrong. Relax, James is a big boy, he'll take care of himself. He'll be fine. Hey, <laughs> see Dubai. <laughs> did not even give me a protein spray at all. She was hot on my heels. <sighs> Do you know that girl can actually take the whole day in a particular store? Indecisive or what to buy? Of course. It's her wedding. What did you expect? That means uh, I need to get my things to <laughs> now. I beg. Well, mm -hmm. hmm. I spent my weekend with Grey. You don't say. And it was intense. <laughs> God, he's such a great guy. Oh. Really? <laughs> so, 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 so when, is, when is it going to happen? When is what going to happen? What are you talking about? Okay, something like, here comes the bride. Not even up to a month we'll be together and you're already singing. Yeah, <laughs> your choices. <laughs> excellent. You excellent. can say that again. Ooh, you look like you brought some new stuff. Yeah. Thank you, madam. I love your shop. I love your materials. Thank I you for your always shoes. patronizing us. This is I'm so sure you're beautiful. enjoying this. Mm? Thank you. You're enjoying this, right? The yes, girl? yes, yes. <laughs> it looks so nice on you. So beautiful on you. I am you. so glad I trusted you and it's exactly what I needed. I know. Thank you, madam. Thank, Thank you. For you. I would definitely take this. <laughs> yeah, this is a better red. I, I would know. definitely take this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank go you. So well, even with my dress. Of Thank course, you. even with the black you are putting Excellent. on, it will definitely go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to. Any other? Uh, mm. I was actually also looking at this. Oh, ah, you. Go I feel the the heel is a bit too long for too you. Long. Okay, yeah. recommend something for me. I always trust your opinion. I know. Uh, let me just take a look. Take a look. Mm. What happened? I rushed immediately. You called. You look so terrible. What is it? What's going on? He left me. <laughs> Gray left me. What? What happened? Jessica, we had a little altercation and he threatened to leave the house for me. Initially, I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I thought it was a joke. Calm down, calm down. Have you tried calling him? <laughs> his phone is switched off. I've called him severally, but his phone is switched off. <laughs> Even talent is very ill. He's having high fever. <laughs> Jessica, I don't know the one to think of. I don't know if I'm thinking of my son that is not feeling well. I don't know if it's I'm okay. thinking of okay. that is it's not okay. at all. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Today is Monday. He'll probably be in the office, okay? Have you tried calling his office? He's not there. I've called the office. He's not there. Jessica, he's not there. Jessica, Doris. 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 Eh? But I want you. I want you, but you wouldn't listen. You don't push a man to the point he will seek solace in another woman. Eh? 
Eh? Did you say another woman? So my husband is with another woman. No, no that's not what I mean. No, no, no. You're, you're, so, no, that's not what I mean. So he's no, he's it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. Finish, it's so. okay. Stop crying. <laughs> 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 Shouldn't you think a hotel room is cozy and more peaceful than the warmth in your own room? Anywhere, any place outside Doris is peaceful. I was getting depressed in that house. If I'd stayed there one more minute, I would have brutalized her. And I'm not a woman beater, all right? I'm not, I, I don't hate women, so I just had to leave. I needed, I needed some peace. Of course. To be with your one night stand. What has come over you, Gray? You have a pregnant wife. Nagging. Nagging pregnant wife. Have you checked your messages? No. Why? Your son has been sick for days now. <laughs> Doris, Doris. So she wants to use my son as a pawn in her little game. That's all. Oh, she needs to step up her lies. She needs to think of something else, really. You're making a very big mistake. Can we talk about something else, please? So, what is it? Gray. He's your brother. How come you never mentioned it? Would that have made any difference? I guess not. Oh, I didn't think so either. Anyway, what about him? Um, actually, we are seeing each other. And I want you to tell me his likes and dislikes, you know, a way to his heart. <laughs> You're serious? <laughs> of course I am. Your brother is cool and I really love him. Uh, dating. Interesting. Raya. My brother, Gray, has a wife. Yes, he is married. He has a wife and he has a child. And right now his wife is currently carrying another child. Yes. You see, from the beginning I told you that there are a lot of things you did not know about Ray. You did not listen. I warned you to stay away from him. You did not listen. Um, it's really sad that you got yourself into this mess. <sighs> Dating. Oh. Where is he now? He's upstairs. Alright, let me, let me go see him then. Babe. Doris, what are you doing? What are you doing? Babe, I 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I've done a lot of wrong things to you. Harris, please stand up. I am totally sorry. I failed to acknowledge how much you loved me and how much you've cared for me. Please, I promise I'll be a good wife. I'll be a good mother. It's okay, it's okay, Doris. It's I'll okay, it's okay, it's okay. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. It's okay, stand up. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Stand up. I'm sorry. It's okay. Doris, you're my wife, the mother of my children, my family. My home is wherever you are, but you pushed me too hard. I'm sorry. It's I'm okay. sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. It's okay. Doris, please sit down. I have something to tell you. Sit down, please. It's okay. Sit. I want to tell you something. Please, let's sit down. Let's sit. Um, Doris. These past few days, I... I was with someone. A woman? Yes. She, she was there for me. All the things you didn't do, she did for me double. She made me feel safe. She listened to my problems and she offered solutions. Doris, I cheated on you. I don't know if our family will ever remain the same. I understand. I, I, I really understand. <laughs> it is a fact of life that no marriage is perfect. But where do you draw the line? A successful marriage is built on love, respect and communication. Do you know what it means to respect your spouse and to be respected in return? Figure your own problems out. Solve it before it's too late. Finding your own peace outside your marriage, you won't just be ruining one life, but a lot of lives, including yours. Friend, I have never seen you this broke before. Hmm? Crying is good. But you should ask yourself if grey is worth crying for. Listen, dear friend, no man is worth crying for, okay? I am not pained because he's married. I am pained because he lied to me. He used me. I know by now he'll be dining with his pregnant wife and kid. You have to get hold of yourself. Move on. Besides, I think James is a great guy. He seems to. Are you being serious right now? I am just trying to cheer my girlfriend up. Can you just stop? <laughs> Not in the mood. You see, you're even smiling. Mm. Move on, girlfriend. Come on. Please, uh, take the water. Swallow it. Relax. Think about James. Mm. How 
about your happiness? If you just stop. And James? He hasn't come yet. to walk into this house after all he did to you. Let him in. You're not being serious, are you? I just want to give him a piece of my mind. Let him in. Fine. Listed my number here and not showing up at work. What's the problem? What is it? Great. To think that I taught you to be an honorable man. The truth is that you're disgusting. I was so stupid. What made you do what you did to me? What did I do? If I remember clearly, we parted on a happy note. So what's with the attitude? When were you planning to tell me? Tell you what? That you're married. That you were using me. When, Grey? You never asked. You bastard! I was so stupid. I was blinded by the feelings that I failed to see who you really are. You never said you loved me. Even when I said I loved you, you toasted in return. Right. <gasps> God. Listen, Rhea, listen, Rhea, I'm sorry. All right, I, I never meant for things to happen the way they did. I had a misunderstanding with my wife. And you used me. I was a vulnerable pawn to you. What gave you the right to do what you did to me? What? Yeah. What we had was real. But I have... I have a, a pregnant wife and a daughter. You know what, Gray? I agree that I was stupid, yes. But please, leave my house this minute before I do something stupid to you this minute. Just leave my house. I explain. Get out of my house this minute! Wait, hold on, I love you, Rhea. I loved you from the very first night. You don't know how hard it has been, how I fought to hold back myself from you, but I love you. It doesn't matter how much a married person loves you. In the end, his family comes first before his personal feelings. And when the person you truly love and admire so much breaks your heart, it will be very hard to make it whole again. Guard your heart, love right to live long. Doris, my son, and our unborn baby, they're a 
very important part of my life. I just have to let her go. I have to let her go and learn to love my wife again. I have to. Great. I mean, how could you even let yourself get entangled in such a situation? This is all shades of wrong, bro. Tell me, how many lives did you just ruin? She'll get over it. We all will. She'll get over it, you say. You think it's that easy? Huh? Great, it's better not to start something than to start it and not get to the finish line. Come on, man. Mike and Jessica are going for their honeymoon in Dubai. So I thought it would be a good idea if we can join them for our anniversary. Uh, you should concentrate on putting to bed. After that, I mean, the vacation can wait, can't it? But I can as well put to bed there. All right, what I'll do is I'll make arrangements for you and talent to go. My schedule is really tight this month, so it won't be convenient for me. It's fine. Vacation can wait. Let's go and have dinner. I'm not hungry. I'll, I'll eat later. Babe, the food will get cold. I said I'm not hungry. You really do not know how happy I am to see you. Like I told you, I'm always going to be here for you. How come you're different from your brother? You're so lively and him, very grumpy. Well, Gray is a lot of things, but he is my brother. So he's not entirely a bad person. Oh, please, don't defend him. He's a monster. Yeah. Every man is a monster in some kind of way. But I did listen to every episode of your podcast and it was good. Well, I guess I was wrong. There are so many good men out there. And you're one of them. <sighs> All right. Look, if you really need me, I'll come running. Seriously? Yep. You can't handle me. I am a bag full of trouble. We'll see about that. So, wanna watch on TV? Yes. I'll get us a 